Elon Musk's Neuralink, the secretive company developing brain-machine interfaces, showed off some of the technology it's been developing to the public for the first time in mid-2019. The goal is to eventually begin implanting devices in paralyzed humans, allowing them to control phones or computers. With the growth of deep learning, compressive sensing, and neural prosthetics, a lot is poised to change, and at the forefront of this change is a mysterious, secretive company run by Tesla billionaire Elon Musk, Neuralink. All right, welcome to the Neuralink product demo. I'm really excited to show you what we've got. Neuralink launched in 2016 and is based in San Francisco. It had raised more than $158 million by 2020, including at least $100 million from Musk. In true startup fashion, Neuralink has been incredibly secretive about its technologies, staff, and achievements. Most of what the tech community knows about it comes from the job posting seeking animal research experts, a handful of formal announcements and papers, and a 2019 presentation by Musk. While Neuralink does not divulge its methods, its goal is crystal clear. The company wants to use robots to embed electrodes in healthy people's brains so they can merge with artificial intelligence. AI is one of Musk's ongoing anxieties, and Neuralink is a concession to the concept of if you can't beat the machines, become one. In that presentation a while back, Musk effectively pitched at the first findings of Neuralink, which he believes down the line will lead to a perfect mesh of humans and artificial intelligence. The four-year-old company is developing an implantable brain-computer interface, or BCI, effectively connecting the human brain to computer devices. The research team at Neuralink rightly pointed out in a white paper that there are currently two ways to record the activity happening behind our skulls. Either non-invasive means, which stay clear of actually entering the brain but as a result are less accurate, or invasive electrodes, which creep near the cortex but are limited in the scope of the signals they can track. Musk's plan is to combine the best of both. To do so, Neuralink has developed threads 10 times thinner than human hair, which can be implemented inside the brain to monitor neuron activity wirelessly. A surgical robot, also made by Neuralink, is put in charge of implanting the microscopic threads into brain matter. Each thread can carry 32 electrodes, and the researchers have demonstrated that the robot can rapidly implement 96 threads. That's 3,072 electrodes in one brain, 1,000 times more than the best systems out there, said Musk as he showed off the project. The only caveat is that the technology hasn't been tested on real humans yet. Musk said during his last presentation that a monkey had already used Neuralink's BCI to control a computer with his brain. The entrepreneur hopes to have the interface fitted to a human patient by the end of 2022. In his tweets, Musk acknowledged the obstacles still lying in the way of the technology. First, we need to make it super safe and easy to use, then determine greatest utility versus risk, he said. From initially working to volume production and implantation is a long road. It will ultimately be used to make up for entire lost sections of the brain, Musk elaborated in his Twitter thread. Don't want to get too excited, but the potential is truly transformational for restoring brain and motor functions. There is no other way to do it, in my opinion. Musk said the whole procedure could take less than an hour without general anesthesia. The objective is to build a robot that can perform the entire surgery itself, from the first cut to wiring it to closing it up. The company's goal is to ultimately solve brain and spine problems, such as rejoining a disconnected or damaged brain with the motor muscles of the arms and legs. But it also hopes to one day address a broader array of neurological conditions, such as depression, anxiety, seizures, and memory loss, or even serve as a consumer product. However, the chip currently works in one direction. For the most part, it can observe and record neurons' electrical activity, but the science behind transmitting intelligible signals back to the tissue to correct a disease or, or even streaming music sans headphones, as Musk pitched, may be years away. In addition, mapping activity from different regions of the human brain to any specific behavior or motion is, at this point, less than clear. The early stages of this research were demonstrated with a pig named Gertrude, who has lived with a Neuralink implant for two months. She was able to light up a computer screen each time her snout smelled or touched something interesting, causing neurons to fire. Meanwhile, another pig, Dorothy, was implanted with the device but had it removed to show its reversibility. Neuralink also showed that by putting a pig on a treadmill and tracking the movements of its joints, it could nearly predict the location of each limb as it walked by just using data gathered from the brain. Musk said the device received a breakthrough designation from the FDA. 
The company is currently preparing for its first human implantations, pending regulatory approvals for a study and additional safety testing. As its name implies, the role of neuron activities are vital to Neuralink's technology. The group's long-term goal of obtaining human symbiosis with artificial intelligence begins by connecting electrodes throughout the brain and reading its neuron signals. Gathering massive amounts of data from the signals would eventually teach Neuralink software how the brain uses them to communicate with the rest of the body, ultimately leading to a certain amount of replication and direction. Neuralink isn't the first to believe that brain implants could extend or restore human capabilities. Researchers began placing probes in the brains of paralyzed people in the late 1990s in order to show that signals could let them move robot arms or computer cursors. Building on that work, Neuralink says it hopes to further develop such brain-computer interfaces, or BCIs, to the point where one can be installed in a doctor's office in under an hour. This actually does work, Musk said of people who have controlled computers with brain signals. It's just not something the average person can use effectively. Throughout the event, Musk definitely avoided giving timelines or committing to schedules on questions such as when Neuralink's system might be tested in human subjects. As yet, four years after its formation, Neuralink has provided no evidence that it can treat depression, insomnia, or a dozen other diseases that Musk mentioned in a slide. One difficulty ahead of the company is perfecting microwires that can survive the corrosive context of a living brain for a decade. That problem alone could take years to solve. The primary objective of the streamed demo, instead, was to stir excitement, recruit engineers to the company, which already employs about 100 people, and builds a kind of fan base that has cheered on Musk's other ventures and has helped propel the gravity-defying stock price of electric car maker Tesla. Matthew Nagel was the first person with spinal cord paralysis to receive a brain implant that allowed him to control a computer cursor. In 2006, Nagel played Pong using only his mind. The basic movement required took him only four days to master. Since then, paralyzed people with brain implants have also brought objects into focus and moved robotic arms and labs as part of scientific research. The system Nagel and others have used are called BrainGate and was developed initially at Brown University. For Musk, the central problem of interacting with AI is actually bandwidth. You can take in information much more quickly than you push it out via your voice or your thumbs, but you're already connected to a machine, an idea most closely associated with philosopher Andy Clark. Hence, his goal is for this system to allow humans to communicate much more quickly with machines directly from their brains. The so-called deep learning revolution is the reason Siri can finally understand you. Google Photos knows when you've uploaded a picture of your cat, you can deposit a check from your phone, and the traffic in Vegas is finally manageable. It's also the tech behind totally new innovations like self-driving cars. Deep learning works by simulating, of all things, the human brain. Right now, though, the company is still working using animals to make sure the platform is stable, but the technology, if it works, is promising a high-bandwidth brain connection implanted via robot surgery. The connection made using thin, flexible threads would allow many neurons' activity to be recorded. The hope is for better, more precise outcomes than previous attempts at brain-machine interfaces. Musk has not yet won over the skeptics, but we'll have to find out how close he really is to getting under our brains. In your opinion, do you think this project will become a reality? Let us know in the comment section down below. Until next time, thank you for watching.